Yeah, what a uh, what a first game, you know, to uh, come out and play aggressive against an unbelievable program like Oregon. Um, you know, they uh, they play fast, they play aggressive, power five school, uh, well coached, um, great job on the recruiting side by them, and uh, for our for our guys to come out and play our kind of baseball, right? Play aggressive, play tough. Um, never back down, and uh, I think it showed in those first couple innings um, on the offensive side, and then also uh, with Garrett Rennie with the unbelievable uh, performance tonight, um, getting his first college win, uh, taking a full year off last year, uh, battling back from Tommy John. Uh, says a lot about him, his makeup, his toughness, um, and that's something that we preach throughout our whole our whole team and, and staying together and and uh, never giving up and, and believing in one another. And I think that came out tonight. Yeah, let's start with you, obviously. You know, Garrett Brady makes the big play. Uh, you know, take us through, we, we asked Garrett the same thing coming back for the first time. But, you know, take us through the day of the game and, and you know, what they're going through and what it's like to watch those kids get going through. Yeah, I, I, I think it's uh, like anybody. Anybody that plays this game, Braden, you know, um, they have that, that, that those butterflies in their stomach, if you will. And uh, that so shows the importance and how much you care about playing and how much time and effort and energy you put into this game, preparing uh, to be the best you can be. And, and um, you know, for me, it was just let's get to that first pitch. If we get to that first pitch and, and, and Garrett can throw that first pitch, then um, we all know what's, what we're supposed to do. We practice, we prepare, we know what it's like being in the dugout, we know what it's like uh, competing on the field. And, um, again, just super, super proud of our guys of – that confidence, right? That confidence just came out and showed through, shined through on on everyone and their willingness to push the envelope and get after it and compete. You know, that was pretty cool. You know, Garrett, you go, you go out as a young man in the, in the top half of the first inning, bottom half of the first, and you, you ask guys, hey, ready, we're going. Two pitches in, you throw some sinker in there. Case Stickler and Spence, you guys start really fast. You know, the you know, offense is put in right in place. Um, after you got that two-run lead, obviously, Yeah, it was awesome. You know, Chase has been been working here. This is his third year in the program. Um, you know, just uh, just been you know dealing with some injuries uh, last year, some arm issues. Because um, he's always been a great defender, um, a great hitter when we recruited him and brought him here um, because of his defense um, and his ability to swing the bat has gotten better um, since he's been here. And um, he's just waiting for his opportunity and super confident in himself. Um, so I was super happy with him, especially in that two hole. You know, I've been banking on him to, to hit behind Cody there and in front of Jack. Um, and it showed tonight, you know, and he can do that. He's, he can turn the outfielders back. He's got some juice. Uh, he can hit the ball the other way. He, didn't, he wasn't able to show that tonight, but um, he can hit the ball to all fields and handle the bat. Um, but Cody getting it going, you know. I mean, again, that's, uh, that's a four-year guy, uh, a veteran. You know, gets the game going with a knock up the middle, advances the second on a ball and dirt, playing aggressive, smart base running. Um, gets the second with nobody out, and then Chase puts a two-strike uh, swing, I believe it was, on that home run and stays short and, and hit it over the wall. So that was that was pretty cool first inning. They took advantage of a lot of those mistakes. You know, they were putting Gary in tight, you know, the hit on the two uncharacteristics of the first out. Um, you know, what do you say about your team not only just being able to take advantage of mistakes, but just, you know, sometimes other teams will make mistakes and teams won't make, make uh, the most of them. But your guys made the most of them. Yeah, we, I mean, we talk about it on the defensive side, you know. And, again, um, you know, winning's hard. Uh, winning's super hard to do. Um, so enjoy the ones that you can get. Um, but going back to, you know, like you're talking about on, on, on the def on the air side, right, you know, and if you can if you can play clean baseball, throw strikes, catch the, catch the ball, play catch, uh, you're going to be in, in the game, you know. And that's where we teach our guys, hey, that's why the importance of defense matters because – Good teams take advantage of of those mistakes, and luckily enough, our guys were able to do that tonight, like you said, and and um, it was it was great to see. We talk about you know the at bats and the home runs, and the home runs there, and the top ten and the top ten and the top ten and the top ten. You know, what are innings there? You know, when Adam Meyer seems like they can kind of settle in, and then Bobby Bennett gives you the three and three, and mm -hmm. then kind of the six uh, innings that then your guys are able to come out. Is it more just the uh, you know the anger and the, and the dugout? How are you guys able to go through that? Yeah, I think it says a lot about what Myers, why, what Myers is going to be. I think he's going to be a, a really good pitcher. I told the guys that coming in, we didn't have much on him, a little bit in the Cape, 
uh, video on him, and um, we knew we recruited him actually to try to get him here. Um, good arm, up to 95, uh, could spin a slider, has feel for a change, and after those first couple innings, he settled in. He threw strikes, and once you start flipping the breaking ball in for a strike, showing a change up for a strike, um, moving the fastball to both sides, um, you know, like you said, it, it got us out of our rhythm, and he was in rhythm. Um, so he's going to be good. It's going to be fun to see how he kind of ends up um, throughout the year. But um, our guys uh, decided to work the count more. It was kind of, hey, we need to stick with us. Don't worry about what that guy's doing on the mound. Um, and we were able to get to the bullpen. You know, you get to the bullpen, they ran out a couple more arms. That was huge for us for the weekend. Um, and that's one of our goals on the offensive end. Can we get to that bullpen as soon as possible? And we were able to do that tonight. That was your first collegiate victory. How, uh, how proud are you of not only getting your first uh, collegiate victory, but doing it with San Diego across the street? Oh, man, nothing, <clears throat> nothing can be more than that, Coach. Um, the pride, the pride I have for this uh, town and this community means a lot. Um, and, uh, you know, that's uh, that's really it. You know, growing up here, um, being, uh, being a baseball guy here, and being able to come home and, and have the San Diego across the chest, is, there's no better feeling. I was looking for something over the plate. Um, I was looking to do my job there and uh, get the important. Cody had a great ball on dirt and get to second right there. And... Uh, I was just I was looking for a ball out and over the plate, and he ended up making a mistake, and I took advantage of it. That's what we were looking for, one through nine in the lineup. We knew we were going into a – you know, that guy, hats off, he's a really good pitcher. So we had a, a really good approach going into that, and we were looking for something out and over the plate and take advantage of the mistakes we were going to get because we knew we were not going to get that many. Uh, it felt great uh, just being out there with my brothers again. You know, last year uh, we got cut a little short. Um, so we've been we've been grinding since last May, May 21st, and you know it's dream come true to come out here and Coach Ungrich uh, get his first win. And happy to do that. Talk to us a little bit about Garrett Williams obviously being able to make it back from the ACL injury and all that stuff. Um, how excited are you about the way in which you're able to recover from that? Yeah, um, if there's one thing I can say about Garrett Rennie is that dude works harder than anyone. Um, you know he battled the Tommy John. His first year coming in here, uh, I know at Long Beach State, I remember that. And, you know, he's done everything to get back to that mound. And he's, uh, he's what, a guy that we really love in this program. And playing behind him is super easy because the guy throws more strikes and hits more spots than anyone I, I've played with. What was the right uh, type of play for you or the others to kind of get back to that spot where you have to hold and you have to hold because you have to hold for that spot? Uh, I saw you did the, uh, the straight ball back half and it worked. And then all of a sudden you looked over to second and kind of went from that. Did you know he left early? Did you get that from the dugout? How did that come about? Uh, I did get that from the dugout. I, my attention was towards, uh, you know, kind of the runner in the outfield there lining up the cut. So that was a great job, you know, great awareness by uh, Decrecio, Justin, and Cody, like, yelling at me to get the ball over to second. Uh, that fake play, I like to mix it in every once in a while and see if I can get someone. Probably happens once a year, but you never know. Yeah, they're gonna come out. They're gonna come out strong tomorrow. I think um, they're a really good team. Uh, they're a great program, well coached. So we got to get back and you know write up a new plan for tomorrow. You know, come back ready to go tomorrow, just like we did today. Every day is a new day. Baseball, anything can happen each and every day. It's a really good team, and we need to take care of business tomorrow as well. Yeah, I mean I, that was everything right there. Is Opening day, coming out and setting a statement, you know, new head coach, uh, Coach Ungrich, and he's been the best coach I've ever played for. Um, he uh, he just he teaches the right things and keeps his head down and keeps going. And, I mean, we all love playing for him, and he loves coaching us, and I think there's just a bond and a family that he's created here that is unbreakable. And I think, you know, going forward, it's going to be really strong. Yeah, uh, we came out really strong in the first two innings, putting up those two big uh, two spots that were really big kind of to set the tempo. And then we kind of we went a little silent for a little bit and let the pitcher kind of take control of the game. So that was really good, just kind of bringing the guys together in the dugout and 
getting back to like our plan of passing the torch and just finding a way, finding any way to get on first and give it to the next guy to do the job. So one through nine, we are a really tough team to beat. And when we stick to our plan and our approach, um, that's what it looks like is seven runs right there in a matter of a few seconds. Thank you very much. Yes. Um, it's, uh, you know, sitting, sitting last year and just kind of watching the guy ahead of me, I just tried to take as much as I could. And then going out in summer, I, you know, I get my chance and put a few good swings on the ball and had some success and it kind of just rolled over with the confidence and coming into here and, you know, other guys also as well, having really great summers out and playing. And we kind of just had really good momentum coming into here. Yeah. I mean, there was a lot of emotions running, a lot of nerves, um, coming out. Um, once I settled in after the first inning, I got my first inning out there, kind of settled in and uh, kind of relaxed and got in my groove and started to started to flow. So yeah. Let's talk. Let's let's talk about that. You know, we talked about this yesterday, obviously, with your lead in and, and what you were going to feel before that first pitch. First pitch, Tanner Smith ropes it to left field. You know, what what was your mindset after that? And, and was that even though we gave up a hit, was it still a sigh of relief for you? Honestly, it wasn't a big surprise. Um, I mean, I knew they were gonna be sitting fastball. We knew it was, we we're gonna start off the game with the fastball, just like get us off started. And he hit it. He hit it pretty well. They're a good hitting team, so I wasn't too surprised. But I mean, you know, you forget about it, and you're on to the next pitch. You worked yourself out of a you know handful of jams tonight too. I mean, you got some guys on, but they didn't really come around the score. Um, you know, go six and a third, you know, take us through, you know, your ability to, to pitch well out of the stretch and, and really handle the, the adversity of, of, of guys cannot coming on base. Yeah, I mean, uh, more so credit to my to the defense, you know, they've made some stellar plays out there, you know, uh, Jello making an over over the shoulder catch out and right, uh, JD bodying up in the first and getting the guy out. I think it was in the first. Um, a lot of insane plays in the outfield. Costello uh, making the grab all the way out on the line. Um, just having full faith in the defense is kind of what helps me uh, get through those tight spots. And the defense really came through tonight. I'm really proud of them. That, that double play obviously was nice. But um, you know, in the sixth inning, you know, Coach Floor came out there. You know, what did he tell you? What were you talking about? Um, honestly, it wasn't too much. It was just kind of like, kind of relaxed me down a little bit. You know. Um, we just kind of devised up a game plan of what we we're gonna do next, um, and it wasn't it wasn't too much. He came up to me, he smiled, and it wasn't like a serious talk. It it kind of shocked me that he was smiling and looking me looking at me with kind of a relaxed face, and it kind of helped me get into a little more relaxed state. Ivan Romero came in, you know, behind you, and uh, you know, two guys on there. You're responsible for the guy in second. He gets out of it with with a nice play and. Uh, and then in the bottom half, you guys put up seven runs. You know what was that like for you watching that after your uh, your day today? Man, Ivan getting that double play. I'm I'm so proud of that guy. He that was such a huge moment, a pivotal moment, I think, in the game. And him being able to go out there and the situation that he was in, and being able to to roll that up, um, I think is kind of what turned us into getting that that next seven runs. You know. Um, I think what Ivan did uh, was a was a really big part of the game that needs to be recognized more. You haven't pitched in a long time. You had a good fall, good spring so far. You get this start. I got two questions for you. Number one, how well did you sleep last night? And what was your thoughts going to the bullpen to warm up tonight? Honestly, I thought I slept great. Um, the only reason why some people might think I would lose sleep or I'm too anxious or nervous, I mean, I told Braden this yesterday, but I've been visualizing uh, today for the past two months. Um, I've lost a lot of sleep in the past two months visualizing it before I go to bed. But um, I last night, I mean, I had full faith and confidence in myself, and knowing I go to bed relaxed, I did. I did my visualization. And, um, yeah. How about going down to the bullpen tonight to warm up? What were your thoughts when you're going down there to get stretched out and start tossing and getting ready to come in? Yeah, my, my first jog out to center field, uh, getting warmed up, I was a little nervous. Um, I had a lot of adrenaline going. And then kind of as the routine went on and I stuck to what I what I do, you know, my routine, I kind of settled in and I felt 
right where I belonged and honestly I didn't have a whole lot of troubling thoughts or any really I was more just like okay like this is what I do I'm here let's do it Everybody else? Um, you know top of the first inning obviously you worked out of the jam bottom of the first Cody Jeffries gets on Chase hits a bomb you know sitting in the dugout all of a sudden you got a two-run lead on, on Oregon you know what how, how did that help you the rest of the game having the lead and getting the offensive support yeah, the offense tonight was on fire. I mean, Chase hitting that two-run home run, man, that it kind of relaxed me a little bit. But at the same time, I was thinking, man, they're picking me up. I got to pick them up too. So, I mean, it, I wasn't too relaxed. I knew I had to go back out there, and I had to I had to do my job for my offenses because they, they did an amazing job tonight. How does it feel uh, knowing that uh, you guys helped Brock get his first win as a manager? I mean, it's obviously very exciting. I mean, you know, we've been waiting all year for this moment, you know, opening day and stuff. And, you know, to have the first win for everybody on the team and for Brock and everything, you know, it's it's awesome. You know, it's not a better feeling. You know, we came out and took care of business and it was a great game. You know, we played well, so it was really exciting. Top of the first inning, obviously, you know, Garrett coming back for the first time in a long time. First pitch uh, gets roped to left and then he, he's able to weather the storm. Um, talk to us a little bit about how you know you saw Garrett pitch today from shortstop. He did a heck of a job, that's for sure. I mean, you know, that first inning, you know, he didn't panic at all. You know, a couple hits early, but you know, he he bared down and you know got through it and stuff. And you know, he pitched six and a third, I believe it was. Uh, but yeah, he did a heck of a job. It was it was really great to see him out there. You know, after a long recovery and all that. So you know, it was it was really impressive. You did your job as a leadoff guy, obviously, in the bottom half of the first got on the base hit, and then uh, Chase Mydris able to drive you in on the two-run shot. What was, the, what was the dugout like, and you know what was going through your mind as you were trouting around the bases after that big blast? I was just, you know, so pumped up. You know, you gotta, you gotta score early in this game. So I mean, it was really awesome to, you know, see him have success and all that. But uh, it was, it was, it was really cool, you know, to have that moment you know right away in the ball game you know it was it was great momentum for the team and it was it was exciting for sure another big exciting play obviously was that double play that you were involved in in the seventh obviously to get out of the jam um you know position right from you know the coaches but that thing was scalding coming at you take us through that uh, that play and you know what it was like in the dugout after that yeah i mean that ball that ball was roped for sure i mean that was that was one of the hardest hit balls i think i've ever you know made a play on um but you know right when I saw it off the bat you know I was thinking double play right away I mean it was ball right over the bag and I was just hoping to hoping to get to and get out of it you know get out of the jam for Ivan so it was it was exciting and it was a big play for sure I was just you know happy to help Ivan get, get off the mat obviously you guys you know you're a big one tonight you got to play three more times you know how do you carry this into tomorrow and then and throughout the weekend in your opening series you know, we just got to enjoy it tonight. You know, it's a it's a big win, so we I mean we deserve to enjoy it and all that. But you know, tomorrow we got to come ready to go because tomorrow's a new day and tomorrow I mean today's not gonna matter. So yeah, I mean three more games, so just got to be prepared. You know, I mean Oregon's gonna gonna be pissed after that loss, so I mean we gotta we gotta come ready and and know that they're looking to even the series for sure. So we can't get too high about it. You know, we enjoy it right now and all that, but you know we gotta come ready to go tomorrow for sure. I want to go back to the, the seventh inning. You guys put up seven runs. You came to the bat you know, twice that inning, obviously. And, um, you know, I talked, we were talking with Chase about it, but, you know, what, what was the dugout like? But, you know, in, in terms of how, how did you, uh, as, as one of the veterans of the team that, you know, knows what the hitting philosophy is at, for San Diego, you know, how, how was it watching that and, and seeing how your teammates were just next man up, next man up, next man up against a, a pretty good, you know, Oregon pitching staff? Yeah, it was impressive. I mean, we had three or four, maybe, you know, two out RBI hits. Um, and, you know, it came from young guys, too, you know, Sim and, and Jello. Um, so it, it was really exciting, you know. I mean, it's obvious, you know, how everyone has bought into the approach we have. And, you know, like you said, you know, you know, passing it from from guy to guy. So, I mean, it was it was really cool to see. And I mean, it's obvious that like we have great chemistry and so. Hey, Cody, uh, as far as uh, the crowd tonight, obviously Oregon brought some fans. Uh, from a player's perspective, you know there are going to be probably more people here on opening night than, you know, for a Sunday afternoon game. 
But what was it like being a player and uh, seeing a, a good group of people, whether they were cheering for you or against you? What was it like being out there tonight, opening night, and having a pretty good crowd on a kind of a cool night? It was incredible. I mean, you know, you always want to have as many people at the game as you can and, uh, you know, have that opening night. You know, everybody's ready to go. It's the first game and all that. You know, it's it's cool to see that many people, you know, behind you and all that. And also have, you know, Oregon fans too, you know, have it have it even out there. So, you know, it was it was really cool and just happy that we had, you know, so many people there to support us for sure.